Magandang araw sa inyong lahat at ang inyong guru ay nagbabalik para sa panibagong lesson. Pero bago tayong magpatuloy, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga bago kong videos. So our lesson for today is all about trapezoids. First, let's define a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. Etong figure natin sa baba, ito yung trapezoid natin. So, etong dalawang to, ito yung parallel sides niya. The parallel sides are called bases and the non-parallel sides are called legs. So, this is the base of the trapezoid and these are the legs. Meron tayong tinatawag na isosceles trapezoid. Ito yung trapezoid na merong dalawang congruent legs. So, pag sinabi natin congruent, ibig sabihin they have the same measurement. So, ito yung congruent legs ni isosceles trapezoid. This one and this one. And then, these are the bases. Now, let's proceed to the properties of isosceles trapezoid. Number one, both pairs of base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So, ibig sabihin, uh, base angles natin are angle A and angle B, angle D and angle C. So, ibig sabihin, angle A is congruent to angle B. Same with angle D, congruent to angle C. Ayan. Number two, the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Diagonal AC is congruent to diagonal BD or DB. Number three, the legs, the leg angles are supplementary. By the way, ang leg pair of leg angles natin, ito, angle A and angle D, and another pair is angle B and angle C. So, so, they are supplementary meaning angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Same with angle B and angle C. Pag pinag-add natin yan, they are equal to 180 degrees. Meron din tayong tinatawag na median of a trapezoid. Ano nga ba ito? So, the median of a trapezoid is the segment that joins the midpoints of the legs. Sometimes, this is called a mid-segment. Ito siya. So, dinidivide niya yung legs natin into two equal parts. So, kung dinidivide niya into two equal parts, ibig sabihin this side or this line is congruent to this line. Same sa kabila, this line is also congruent to this line. Theorem. The median of a trapezoid is parallel to the bases. So, ang median natin, makikita natin na parallel siya sa dalawang base natin. Another one, the length of the median is one half the sum of the length of the bases. So, ang median daw ay equal sa one half ng uh, sum ng dalawang basis natin. Or, if we are going to add base 1 and base 2 and divide it by 2, that is the value of our median. Me Example number 1, given. Trapezoid A, B, C, D. Identify the following. So, this is the given trapezoid. Identify the legs. So, ang legs dito, AD at saka C, BC. Letter B, identify the bases. So, itong nasa taas at saka nasa baba. AB and DC. Next, the pairs of leg angles. Meron tayong dalawa. Dalawang pair. Angle A and angle D. And the other pair is angle B and angle C. Letter D, lower base angles. Yung angles dito sa baba ng trapezoid. So, this is angle D at saka angle C. 
Letter E, identify the upper leg angles, yung nasa taas naman. Angle A at saka si angle B. And then, the median, this is line segment, MN. If AD is equal to 20, AM is blank and MD is blank. So, alam natin na itong si median, dinidivide niya yung legs ng trapezoid into two equal parts. So, ibig sabihin, AM is congruent to MD. And if AD is equal to 20, we will just divide it by 2 to get the measurement of AM and MD. So, 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. Therefore, AM is equal to 10 and MD is also equal to 10. Then, letter H. If BN is 11, this one, what is the measure of BC, the whole leg? So, again, the median divides the leg of a trapezoid into two equal parts. Therefore, BN and NC are congruent. So, ibig sabihin, if BN is 11, then NC is also 11. But take note, BC ang hinahanap natin. So, multiply lang natin yung 11 sa 2 para makuha yung measure ni BC. So, 11 times 2 is equal to 22. Example number 2. So, this is the given trapezoid. Find MD. So, this one. May mark na siyang X. Ayan. So, sabi natin, ang median is equal to base 1 plus base 2. So, ang base 1 natin is RA and ba base 2 natin is TP. Or, pwede rin silang magkabaliktad. It doesn't matter. Divided by 2. Okay? So, substitute lang natin yung given values ng RA and TP. Ayan. So, RA is 16 plus TP which is 28 divided by 2. Then, simplify. 16 plus 28 is equal to 44. So, 44 divided by 2 is equal to 22. Therefore, ang value ng MD ay 22. Example number 3, solve for X and WZ. So, this is the trapezoid. Again, we will use the median formula. Wherein LK is our median. Then, XY is for base 1. And, WZ for base 2. Divided by 2. Substitute the given values. XY is 23. Our LK is equal to 29 equals to XY, which is 23, plus WZ, which is 11X plus 2, divided by 2. Uh, I-add lang natin itong nandito sa numerator muna. So, 29 is equal to 23 plus 2 is 25, plus 11X divided by 2. Simplify. Cross multiplication, 29 times 2 is 58. Then, copy lang natin yung 25 plus 11x. So, ayan. And then, transpose 25 to the left side of the equation. 58 minus 25 is equal to 11x. Simplify. 50, 58 minus 25 is 33 is equal to 11x. For us to get the value of x, we will divide both sides to 11. So, x is equal to 3. Then, meron pa tayong isang hinahanap. Yung measure ni WZ. Or yung measure ng isang base natin. So, paano natin gagawin yan? So, substitute lang natin yung nakuha nating value ni x dito sa eto. 11x plus 2. Ayan. So, WZ is equal to 11 times the value of x which is 3 plus Two. WZ is equal to 33 plus 2. Then add WZ is now equal to 35. Okay? To check if our answer is correct, we will just add 35 and 23. So that is 58 divided by 2. That is 29. So ibig sabihin tama yung sagot natin. 
Example number four, find the measure of angle R. Okay. So, sabi kanina sa property, leg angles R is supplementary. So, meaning, angle S plus angle R is equal to 180 degrees. Substitute lang natin yung values, given value ni angle S. Ayan, 65 plus the measure of angle R is equal to 180 Mag-transpose tayo. I-transpose natin si 65 sa right side ng equation. So, magiging angle R is equal to 180 minus 65. Simplify. 180 minus 65 is 115. So, angle R is equal to 115 degrees. By the way, take note class. Kapag ang tinatanong ay angle, huwag kalimutan sa final answer na ilagay yung degree symbol. Ha? Kasi, ito yung representation na talagang angle yung sagot mo. Okay? And last example, example number 5. If KM is 22, find JL. Okay, if this diagonal, KM, is equal to 22, find the measure of the diagonal, JL. Applying the diagonal property of a trapezoid, that uh, the two diagonals are congruent. So, KM is congruent to JL. Therefore, KM is equal to JL. So, if KM is 22, then... JL is also equal to 22. Nakuha? At dito nagtatapos ang lesson natin sa trapezoid. Kung may mga katanungan kayo, ilagay nyo lang sa comment section at sasagutan ko kapag meron akong oras. Salamat sa pakikinig. God bless and stay safe everyone. Bye-bye!